Welcome to the screencast where we'll see the new 6x10 giggy NAB handle 80 gigabits of bi-directional traffic. This screencast is the second part in a series of screencasts focusing on the new high performance NAB. In addition to this demo, I suggest you check out the other screencasts as they are equally interesting. They can be found on the Solus Systems tech blog or on the Solus YouTube channel. So now let's get to the demo and see 80 gigabits per second of bi-directional traffic. As you can see in the overview, that will be 40 gigabits per second ingress and 40 gigabits per second egress. To achieve this, I have a network with 10 high-end performance servers, which are just enough to achieve this rate. I have set up five servers to host the publishing clients and five servers for the subscribing clients. There will be 20 individual message streams in this test. Each subscriber received messages from one publisher. The publishers will send messages with 4,000 byte payloads, which represent a reasonable payload side for request reply scenarios. To hit 40 gigabits per second, each publisher will send messages at 60,000 messages per second for a total of 1.2 million messages per second ingress and 1.2 million messages per second egress. Let's see this in action. All right, so here we have Solidmin, the GUI manager for Solus appliances. And in here, you can see I've managed a single Solus appliance. This is the appliance we'll use for our testing. And if you expand the details, you can see what physical cards are in the chassis. And we'll focus right in on the network acceleration blade. Here you can see that we do, in fact, have the 6 by 10 giggy card. And here's the 10 giggy port. It gives you also details about the ports, including the connectivity and firmware version. So let's jump right to the test. First, we need some clients. To connect some clients, I have five servers here, as outlined in the slide and I'm going to make use of the SDK Perf in-house performance test tool which is available to all customers. We'll use this tool throughout all of the demos in this uh, screencast. So this first set of subscribers will connect four clients to the Solus appliance and we'll do this five times. So let's connect up all the clients. If we go to Sol Admin, now we can see all the clients connected. They have two subscriptions. One is the point-to-point -point subscription for request reply messaging, and the second subscription is the one that will match the published traffic that the streams publisher will send. So to monitor the rate, the most appropriate way is again through Solidmin stats charting, and we will do that in this screencast as well. For the first demonstration, we're specifically interested in the bits per second. So the ingress message bytes per second and egress bytes per second is what we will monitor, and then we can multiply that number by 8 to get to bits per second. I will track a 10-minute demonstration because I want to show you that this rate can be held for a period of time and that the Solus appliance will have no issues with that. We're not just going to run a 5-second test and stop traffic. So we'll start this. And at the beginning, you'll see that there are no bytes per second flowing because we have no messages per second. The publishers are similarly spread over the five servers and in five groups of four publishers each group. So if we start the first group, we can then flip over and we can see messages flowing. Each publisher group will send messages at one gigabyte per second. One gigabyte per second is equal to eight gigabits per second when you have all five groups sending, you'll get exactly 40 gigabits per second, the capacity of this 6 by 10 giggy NAB. So I'll start the rest of the publish publishers in a step function and we can see the traffic ramp up. There's a second group. There's a third group, we're now at 24 gigabits per second. fourth group, 32 gigabits per second, and you can see that the ingress and egress line are tracking so closely that you can't distinguish them. But we'll look at the statistics to show you that messages are flowing. Last group, 5 gigabytes per second, 40 gigabits per second. So there you have it, the performance of the 6x10 giggy NAB, 40 gigabits per second ingress and egress. And it's sustaining it, no issues. Let's take a quick peek at some statistics. So if we look at the client stats, we can see that the direct message flow is increasing for both received and sent. And 
If you come down here, you can see 4.9 gigabytes per second. If you multiply that out and include some allowance for network headers, that's easily over 40 gigabits per second. And no ingress or egress discards. So now if we just let this test run for a period of time, we'll check back in on it and uh, we can see that over the 10 minute period there will be no issues. Okay, so let's check back in on our test at this point. As you can see, we've been running for close to uh, 8 minutes now. And um, we're still having no issue maintaining 40 gigabits per second ingress and egress. So let's ramp down the traffic and clean up the test. There we go, two sets of publishers, third set. And we're done. That's 40 gigabits per second ingress and egress through the new 6x10 giggy nab. In conclusion, this series of demos shows you the awesome performance of the new 6x10 giggy nab. It's definitely a great next step in vertical scalability. And it's a nice addition to the existing nabs, allowing customers to match their performance needs with the correct configuration in their Solus messaging appliances. Having this flexibility allows you to scale by replacing an existing card in a Solus messaging appliance rather than being forced to scale horizontally by adding more servers. Thank you for watching this screencast. If you'd like to know more about the Solus Messaging Appliances, you can use the link on the screen. And also to find the other 6x10 Gigi NAB demos, please check out the Tech Blog or YouTube channel.